everyone happy monday I'm working on the nightstands this week i got a bunch of rough ash that i need to mill down so i don't have a jointer so i'm just going to be using a little planer sled and i'll run these all through the planer get them nice and square as we like to say here in new england also it's beautiful here in new england so the planer is set up outside it's time to make a mess out here which is great that i can do this out here because my planer doesn't actually have dust collection. It's just an open chute in the back. It's a pain in the butt. I looked for the parts for it. Can't seem to get it. And I don't really care enough. So I just set it up outside. And eh, eh, is it really that big of a deal? Especially considering I usually buy surface lumber. Not a big deal to me. All right, I'm going to get to work. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I ran all of these through the planer using my jointer sled to get my one clean face, nice flat face. Then I took them off the sled, flipped them over, and put them through the planer, and that gave me my two parallel faces. So now I have those two faces, but I'm left with two rough edges still. So, okay, I don't have a jointer. How am I gonna do it? Well, I am using another jig. This one's for the table saw. And the way I actually have this set up, it can do both jointing and tapering, and it can accommodate different widths of boards. Super simple design, super effective. So the way I have it right now, I can accommodate a narrow board with a clamp here. If I put this one here, same thing. But I can also flip it around and have my clamps on this side. Now I can accommodate a nice wide board. Super easy. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. See ya. All right, I'm wrapping up for the day. I've got a new work schedule that I started today and it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to it. So some of my days are gonna feel really short, some feel normal, it's gonna be a little weird. But before I get out of here, I gotta bring you guys the verse of the day. Now today's verse comes out of the book of Acts and this is actually a story of Stephen. Now who's Stephen? I'm gonna read you some song lyrics to tell you who Stephen was and a little bit of his story. So Stephen was a deacon in Jerusalem they dragged him out those city gates to try and quiet him. When Stephen preached, those Pharisees started throwing stones. Before he died, he raised his eyes and saw Jesus on the throne. He said, you can bury the workmen, but the work will go on. And you can silence the voices, but you can't stop the song. When the spirit's moving, his will will be done. You can bury the workmen, but the work will go on. All right, so now here's Stephen's actual story from the Bible. Um, we're in Acts 7, verse 54. When they heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. So this is the Pharisees hearing him preach and stuff like that. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul was there, giving approval to his death. So we had a lot going on here. Stephen, the deacon, has literally just been stoned to death because he's been preaching the gospel. He's been talking about Jesus and people don't want to hear that. Yeah, here I am. All right, so then also there's this guy, young man named Saul, standing there having people like lay clothes at his feet, whatever that means. But Saul is giving approval to his death. He's thrilled that Stephen just got stoned to death. He's like, yeah, that's good stuff. Take down those Christians. Fun fact about Saul, in the future, he finds Christ. That's right. He becomes a Christian and changes his name to Paul. Yeah, that Paul. Paul the Apostle. Paul the Saint. Whatever you want to call him. The one who wrote like 13 books of the Bible. Everybody knows Paul. And yet, there he was, thrilled that Stephen was being stoned to death for being a Christian. Yet he changed his heart and became a Christian and then went on to preach all about Jesus. 
Yeah, that's right. Even people like Saul can become Christians, which is crazy. But hey, God takes us all. We all have a backstory. It's not all roses. I promise that. All right, that's enough preaching for today. I don't want you to stone me. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. Everyone, happy Tuesday. If you remember, there were two boards left that I still needed to joint. I got those taken care of already and got everything milled up to their rough dimensions. I like to leave an extra 16th to an eighth inch um, when I rip them on the table saw. Just so that way there I have a little bit to clean up any tooling marks or anything like that so I get a nice clean glue line. Um, I've got eight glue ups to do here, so I'm gonna get those cleaned up and then start getting them in clamps. We'll see how far I get today. Have a good day. Bye. All right, guys, I'm wrapping up for today. Um, I got all the panels glued up, so tomorrow I can get them all sanded and go from there. I can't even think beyond sanding at this moment. I don't even know what that involves. Um, Kicking peaches on a shirt order. Almost done with it. I'm finally in the home stretch on that. All right, I gotta get out of here. So let me bring you guys today's verse of the day, which is Proverbs 31.10. And, nope, that's a lie. Proverbs 31.30. There we go. It says, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. There you go. All right, have yourselves a good day. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I got all of the panels out of clamps, drum sanded them nice and smooth. I got them all cut to their final dimensions, and now I'm marking out my joinery. I'm going to be doing a rabbit along the bottom and the top pieces, and the side will sit down into that and up into that one. I think it's going to look really nice and just classic style. Um, we're going to have an inset drawer here, so I wanted to showcase a little bit nicer of joinery. Well, nicer in my opinion. I prefer that style over uh, a miter. Personal preference, but I think it just looks looks a little bit more top-notch. A little bit oomph. You know, I like that oomph. Okay, so also something that I'm always talking about is order of operations. It's something that I really, really try to pay attention to, and here's why. So there's going to be a back panel on this, and when I get it all glued up, getting in here to install these drawer slides is going to be tight. I mean, I can do it with a right angle attachment, but... If I can think one step ahead and plan, then I save myself time and effort and the frustration of even having to do that. Or if you don't have one of those, just planning will prevent the need for it. So rather than gluing on the top and the back panel, I can keep the top off, install my drawer slides, and then glue it up. It, those little things, they make a big difference in the long run. So that's why I'm always stressing, order of operations. Oop, remember your oop. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I think I just missed my morning. It's all right. It's been a crazy morning so far. I did get the nightstands both glued up. The drawer slides are all installed on them. They're looking good. Still a lot to do with these. Gotta make the drawer boxes, French cleats for the back. Staining the outside, painting the drawer face, all that good stuff. But that's not getting done today. These are where, these are going to sit right here for the rest of the day. I've been working on a shirt order. I have another couple of orders that have come in and I'm trying to just bust on through them. You know, today's one of those days that like, I just, I can't even pay attention to any of the notifications on my phone. I'm starting to see all those little red dots show up and I'm, I, just, I can't, I have to ignore them. <laughs> I've got too much to do, too much too much to do. I know you guys know that feeling. So today I'm just like, I'm dead to the world. I'm ignoring all of it. So if you're in a group message with me, sorry, not sorry. I got shit to do. Anyway. Okay. My afternoon is shaping up to be just as chaotic as the morning has been. So I'm going to get off of here and go kick those peaches and I will see you all later. We'll hold up before I say that. I was asked to show more of my dog. Apparently you guys like mocha. So little yay or nay here. You let me know. Do you want to see more of my dog? You better say yay. Just saying. All right, seriously, I'm out of here. Bye.
What? What? I'm finally wrapping up for today. I got these two orders ready to go, which is great. I can check those off my list. Man, it was a good, busy, busy day. Got so much stuff done, so much admin. Like, oh, the boring stuff. It just takes a toll on you. Okay, let's reset ourselves here with the verse of the day. We have Titus 3.14, and it says, Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good, in order that they may provide for daily necessities and not live unproductive lives. I don't think any of you are living unproductive lives, but uh, are you devoted to doing what is good? That's the question that's really being asked by me right now. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Have yourselves a good night. Bye. All right, guys, it's another crazy day here for me. I got a lot going on. Um, the next thing I need to do for the nightstands, which I'm not gonna get to today, is I gotta break down some plywood to make the drawer boxes for them. However, if you look at my shop, you can see that it's a mess again. All my stuff has just kind of been shoved into areas, which this seems to happen a lot. And in order to do the drawer boxes, I need to break down a four by eight sheet of plywood. So I don't know if you see a good spot to do it, but uh, I don't. And I never do. Every time I have to break down plywood, I have to like reinvent the wheel in here. I need a four by eight section on my floor or a clear bench, or I got to take it outside and that's a pain in the butt. I'm tired of doing that. And I've been wanting a lumber cart for a long time, like something to hold sheet goods, because I don't have anything good for it. You can see it's all just like stacked up over there. I can't get in there. Also, a pain in the butt. So I haven't built a lumber cart because, well, I haven't found any designs that I like. Finally, today, I found a design that I like, and it comes with plans. So I'm going to be building a lumber cart which doubles as a panel saw. So on the back side of it, I'll be able to load a sheet right onto it and use either a circular saw with a guide or a track saw and just make my cuts. No more finding space on the floor, no more needing a bench top. It's gonna be great. So I went and picked up all the lumber that I need for that, which got a couple of piles right here, of two by sixes and some two by fours. I gotta say, with the prices right now of lumber. I wish I did this a year ago, but this is what I get for dilly-dallying. My mother always said, don't dilly-dally, and here I am, dilly-dallying. No more dilly-dallying here. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna be working on that along with a bunch of other stuff I got going on, and that way there I can finally break down the sheets of plywood to do those drawer boxes and keep moving on with that. So that'll kind of get work done on Monday. All right. I'm getting out of here. Have yourselves a good day. I'll share a picture of what that plan looks like. Um, I think you guys are gonna like the design. You're probably all gonna wanna make them. I don't recommend doing it now because of lumber prices. Okay, bye. All right guys, I'm wrapping up for today. I only got to put in a couple hours on it today so I didn't get very far, but I did get the entire bottom assembled. I've got four inch locking swivel casters on it. So this thing moves really nicely, even loaded with all that lumber. Yeah, lumber. Um, this is the front section here. There's gonna be a little lip and this will hold short sheets of stock. And then there'll be a section here for the full sheets. And on the back side of that wall will be where I can load on panels to run the track saw on it. It's looking pretty good. My hope is to finish this tomorrow. We'll see. Man, so much going on. <laughs> Never ending. If you guys only knew the half of it, you guys are lucky I don't tell you everything that's happening. You guys would just be like, this is so boring and yet so exciting. I don't know what to feel. Welcome to my life. It's boring yet exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going insane. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go give you guys the verse of the day and get out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. We're almost out, you guys. There's only a little handful left in there. Let's see what we got today. It's hard to do one this one-handed, just so you guys know. That's why I usually pick it before I come on. Here we go. Let's see. 
Proverbs 3.15. She is more precious than jewels. I feel like we're missing a little bit of that. So let's let's look this up real quick. I got my Bible open. Let's see. What did I say? Proverbs 3.15. Oh. Do you think I know the way around the Bible? I don't. I don't. I have a bookmark that I made that tells me my way around the Bible. But here we go. Hey. I think I'm heading in the right direction. This is really excellent content. I know. You're welcome. This is this is the stuff I do for you guys. Aha! 315. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Okay. Wasn't quite what I was expecting, but uh maybe we'll add a little more here. We'll start in verse 13. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Huh, isn't that funny? We put it into context and suddenly we're not talking about a woman. We're talking about wisdom. This was an accidental lesson, everyone. Don't take Bible verses out of context. Read the whole context. All right. That was a good lesson. I'm out of here. Bye. I can honestly say I was not planning to work a full day today, but here I am finally wrapping up for the day. Um, I got the cart all assembled and loaded. I have storage here for, whoop, let me just lean back, for shorts here. Um, this is for full sheets here. You can see I tucked in some poplar down there. And this is where you actually cut your full sheets. So you can see it's a nice big panel saw there. If you're looking to make one of these, plan for three feet by seven feet. So it's got a big footprint. It's definitely tall too. You can adjust the height as needed. I obviously don't need this extra height here because the sheet stops here, but I could turn it if I needed to. Um, I'm going to be able to keep a clamp up here so that I can clamp it down if it's bowing, which you can see this one is. Just go ahead and clamp right to here. That'll be great. Um, I The blocking I added was um, an inch and a half so that I'd have room for a sheet plus the foam because I want to be able to cut into the foam rather than cutting into this. Just makes it a little bit, you know, gives a little more longevity, I should say. Um, so now because I've got all this organized, I need to really start going through all my other scraps. <laughs> and you can see I got even more back there. So like those sheets need to go on the cart now. There's just a ton of stuff under there. Like I got to go through it. Got to get more of it up there. Clean out what I don't need. Ah, <sighs> man. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, go on the boat, have some fun. Um, a couple of you have been asking about this banner here and this hat that I've been wearing. This is all from Top of the Food Chain Clothing. If you're interested, go click on their page. Place an order. If you place an order this weekend, you get a free pair of these, which I love. Um, and by the way, use coupon code Heath Street Woodworking for 15% off your order. So go ahead, grab yourself one. Grab someone you know who needs to learn a trade. Get them one. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Have yourselves a good one. Bye. Hello there. It's officially beer 30. I'm actually just hanging out for a bit. I'm going to be hopping on a Zoom call with all the girls from the house that she built. We're going to be doing a little happy hour. I'm super excited to see all of them. But while I wait for that to start, I figured I'd show you guys uh, some things I got in the mail today. First up, from Kirsten at Four Waves Woodworking. I got this awesome shirt in the mail. So excited. I can't wait to wear this. But Kirsten didn't just send me a shirt that I had ordered. She also threw in a hat for me. So I'm super excited to wear that. Thanks, Kirsten. Everyone go give her a follow. She does great stuff. She's getting married soon too. So like, that's awesome. Go show some support. All right, guys, I also got a package in from Steph at Stephanie Builds It. She included some stickers. She knew I needed some of these. In fact, she covered the box in them. Like, can we get more excessive than this stuff? Can we? I mean, maybe you could have. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed, though. Um, but she sent over a bunch of stuff that some companies had sent us. So I got these body wipes from Clean Freak. I used these all week um, when I was in Utah. I love them. These were great. Um, she also sent us all this stuff from Rockport, 
oh my goodness, Rockport Works sent all of us a pair of boots. I'm super excited to give these a go. They're really, really nice quality. They sent us hats and cups and socks and bags and scrunchies and chapstick. And I don't even know what I'm throwing at this point. Okay, I'm going to get out of here and go hang out with my girls. You guys have yourselves a good night. Bye.